you guys what's up what's good my i feel you guys it's been a long while since i've done a reading for y'all welcome to my channel if you guys are new and welcome back for all my returning subscribers so i'm going to be getting into you guys' love read for july 2023 this is going to be for the sun moon rising venus north no i feel you guys you guys do me a favor hit that like button for me right now subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and turn your post notifications on so Let's get some messages from your person, the person on you guys' mind, and see what's coming towards you, okay? So this person sees you guys as twin flames. So this would be a twin flame love reading. It says, I miss your laugh, your voice, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. Somebody's in their feelings today over you, okay? They're trying to communicate with you telepathically i feel like you guys are good at communicating telepathically without saying anything you guys know what each other is saying just by looking at each other or this person is trying to get your attention in some sort of way even if you guys are separated from each other they're trying to telepathically get in contact with you it says i'm going through a lot right now i need space and time to gather my thoughts which i should have pulled this card first so this person is going through a lot right now you guys are separated because they needed time. They needed space to gather their thoughts. I feel like something happened between the two of you. Okay, so let's see what that was. You have the lovers, Gemini energy. You have the two of cups. And you guys have the six of cups, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, so this person fell for you very hard. This person has fallen deeply in love with you, where there is a soul tie that has been created here. There is love, harmony, balance, kindred spirits. This person does feel a soulmate connection with you. I do feel like this person met you and there was a magnetic pull that you two felt where they couldn't shake it. I feel like this person knew that this connection was very different. And they do feel like you guys are on the same page. They feel like you see eye to eye. This person is very interested in a relationship with you. Or this is somebody that you are already in a relationship with. And I feel like they want to bring balance into the relationship. They want to balance things out between the two of you. I feel like this person may bring you gifts, money, or they may ask you for money. I feel like for some of you, a small portion of you, someone was giving to two. Okay, and this could be a friend or somebody you put in the friend zone. Okay, I feel like you may have been friends with this person first before you actually started a relationship with them to build trust in a foundation. However, I do feel like your person is giving off some hot and cold energy, sending mixed signals. They're very inconsistent and there's a lack of clarity here. Okay, I feel like this person is doing some praying here. Asking the angels to help them because they're divine interventions. The angels are helping trust the divine plan and believe in miracles. So I feel like Archangel Michael is here to help you and your person in this connection. Because again, they needed time and space to gather their thoughts here. I feel like the uh, connection got too intense. Okay. And they may have backed away a little bit. So let's see what's coming through for Afiukas and love. I'm going to make this as short as possible. Okay. It says, should I stay or leave? Time to make a decision. Ball is in your court. So I feel like that's your energy, Afiukas. You are going back and forth about if you should stay in this connection or if you should leave. Okay. Because this person is sending mixed signals. It says yearning. Missing you. Thinking about the good times. I've never had someone like you. So this person is yearning for you. They're missing you. And they're thinking about you. Thinking about a lot. That has happened between the two of you. And I feel like this person has never had a soulmate like you. But right now, someone is feeling alone. Someone is in solitude, quarantine, withdrawal. I feel like somebody here is antisocial. Not speaking to people. Not paying people any mind here. Okay? Hmm. I feel like this person is ready for love. They're tall and handsome. This person is someone that does not play no games. They want commitment. They're emotionally available and knows how to treat a woman or a man. Okay, this is what this is. But I feel like there is some secrets here. Something or someone is misleading you. I feel like they're being deceitful. They don't want you to know about something. They're scared for you to find out. Okay, somebody has some secrets. And even though they appear to be one way, they could be emotionally immature so they appear to be one way when they're another way. 
I feel like they don't know how to treat you. There's a disconnect. There's a lack of presence. This will be short-lived. So for some of you, this person is barely around. They're in and out of your life. There's a disconnect. They don't know how to treat you. Even though they come off as, oh, I'm not playing no games. I want commitment. I'm available emotionally. They're really not. They're emotionally immature, but they come off as emotionally mature. If that makes any sense. Okay, let's continue. It says summertime. Let's go on a trip, double date, and have some fun. So I feel like they want to go on a trip with you, bring their friends to have a double date. You know, they want you to meet their friends. They want to have some fun. The universe is guiding you. It says intuition. Follow it. Follow your intuition. Okay, with this. It says, read between the lines. You will find the answer. Someone will tell you without telling you. So someone's actions is telling you everything you need to know without telling you. Directly. Okay, and give me two more cards for Afiyukes and love. Give me two more cards. What is this person's intention? Okay. So right on top of, you will find the answers. Uh, jumped out, show off. So this person is a show off. They like to floss their money. Flexing their ego. They're a cheapskate. They act real tight with money. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Okay, this person is going to bring you a text message. You are on my mind. It says, I miss you and I can't get enough of you. Okay. Let's see what else is coming through. What's this person's true intentions? So I feel like they want to show off and try to impress you, but they don't have any money. Or they're having money issues. I'm seeing like $10 right there. Okay, I want to take you out, but I can't right now. So this person, they want to reach out to you. They're going to reach out to you, right? They want to take you out, but they can't. They can't right now. They want to go on a trip and double date, but they're trying to get their money right. All right, what's this person's true intentions? Winter season. It says, I'm tired of being alone. I want someone who knows my worth. So you, by the winter season, you're going to be in this energy of feeling tired of being alone. And you want someone who knows your worth and value, okay? Because I feel like you're not settling for less than what you feel you truly deserve. Somebody here is a runner. It says, when I catch feelings, I run or fall back. I don't know what to expect. I'm working on my issues. But they see you as marriage material. They don't hate anything about you. But I feel like for a lot of you, this person may have ghosted y'all, okay? Without notice. It says, no call, no text, no show. They just disappeared on you. Okay, and I feel like it's because they need to gather their thoughts and get themselves together. Okay, they feel like this connection got too intense. But at the same time, there's some deceit going on here. Okay, and you guys, I feel like this person is bored or this is you who's bored. It says dead end dates, unfulfilled, not on the same page. So you and this person are not on the same page. I feel like if you've gone out on dates with people, you guys are not on the same page. You're feeling unfulfilled. You guys are not happy. I feel like you're throwing yourself into your work. There's a work overload. You're working too much or too hard. You're stretching yourself thin. You're not getting any sleep. <clears throat> I feel like this person could be a workaholic here, okay? I also feel like this person wants you to gather some understanding with them. They want you to have some sort of understanding. They want to talk things out, okay? I feel like you're going to be hearing one another's side. I feel like there will be some compromising going on here, okay? What do they want to talk about? They want to talk about having a baby. It says, finally, I've been wanting to have a family with you. Mutual baby love. So they want to have a baby with you. And the feelings may be mutual. Okay. Night out with friends. It says club. Having fun. But I can't wait to see you. So this person went out to the club. Had some night out with their friends. But they can't wait to see you and talk to you. I didn't want to throw that card out there. I didn't, but this person is a player. They're non-committal. They'll sweet talk you. They're a sweet charmer. They'll treat you good, but place games with your heart. So there is, you know, a need for you guys to talk because they do see you as their forever love. They see you as someone they can spend the rest of their life with. It says trust. This is the one. Spiritual connection, contentment. They're going to put in the effort. Okay, they're going to put in the effort, but I feel like you could be watching them, spying on them, being sneaky, trying to see if they're with someone else, or they're doing this to you. All right, wow. Apply this to what it needs to be applied to. That's kind of crazy, Afiyukis. That's kind of crazy. But I feel like this person should have been honest and upfront with you from the beginning. What's going on? But I feel you can send this person on your mind. 
This person loves you, but I feel like this is somebody who's selfish, stubborn, arrogant, full of pride and ego and wants their way or the highway. I feel like this person lives in a fantasy land. They're phony, a trickster, causes illusions in you guys' relationship. And I feel like you secluded yourself from this person. There's a separation where you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching and reflecting here. I feel like uh, you could be married to this person or this person is already married. But there is some legal issues coming up here. You may have separated yourself from this person because you found out this person was married. For some of y'all, but I feel like somebody has some legal issues coming up. There's a divorce. So somebody's married. Somebody's filing for a divorce. This could be possession of property. This could be a criminal situation, fraternity, child support, or a traffic ticket. They're going to spin the block for you. Okay, I feel like this person's going to drive by your house, your job. They're spying on you, watching you on social media, or spying through family members, friends. They're curious about you. They want to know who you're with, what you're doing. They want to know if you still care about them, okay? You could be a divine masculine. Well, this is a masculine energy. This could be a female with masculine energy as well. What else is coming through for Afiyukis? Oh, yeah, this person may have had a workplace affair. Okay, so I feel like they cheated with someone they work with or do business with. This person does have feelings for you, but I feel like they're learning some karmic lessons here. Okay, somebody got in trouble with the law for some of y'all, not everybody. Because the police may have been involved. But there is some praying going on here. Someone is praying. Having faith, healing, and meditating because they massively regret what they did to you. They have massive regrets for breaking your heart. Okay. You may be a divine feminine or you're dealing with the feminine energy. Spiritual gifts. So your spiritual gifts are heightening. You're spiritually gifted. A lot of you are earth angels, healers, star seeds, light workers. You're about to get some shocking news or something's going to shock a lot of people. It could be your spiritual gifts that shock people or your spiritual gifts is going to shock you. Or everybody is shocked about this person because they felt that they were one way when, when really they had secret dating apps in their computer, tablet, phone. And they were um, exploring other options. And I feel like a lot of other people are going to be very shocked by this person's ways. You know, they didn't expect this to happen. Somebody has some jealousy. They gossip. They're a hater. They're two-faced. They're a liar. Okay, you may be shocked to find out somebody here uh, is having a funeral. Okay. Is it too late for this person? They have a sex addiction. Somebody has a sex addiction. There's karma coming through for somebody. Major karma. Drama. Endings. Losses. A mental breakdown. This person going through a mental breakdown, a firestorm, because it may be too late. It may be too late to reconcile, but this is what they want to do. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come back together with you. This is somebody that definitely ghosted you or you ghosted them. It's too off and on. It's hot and cold. This person, I feel like you're detached from them. This person, for some of y'all, they're a thug. So for some of you, this person is someone that is frequently in trouble with the law. They may live in New York or upstate New York, but I feel like somebody is in trouble with the law. They may have went to jail or they may go back and forth to jail or they may have a record from the past. Somebody may have got locked up July 8th, 2020. Okay, it says moving. So you guys are moving. I see a fresh start coming in for you. I see you leaving a toxic relationship. You're buying a new house, selling a house, moving to a different city, state, country, town, or there's something in your career that's changing. This could be a new job for a lot of y'all, but you're turning your back on this person or you about to turn your back on this person. This psycho crazy ex who is obsessed and won't let you go. So this could be an ex that we're speaking of. Somebody you broke up with, separated from this person who's in love with you, who, um, is in a uh, like sees a strong connection with you, a soul tie. Could be giving to two. Or they may give you money, like I said, or they may ask you for some money. You are divine feminine. This person feels like you're their counterpart. But I feel like they may come through with some bad news if you haven't blocked them. They're coming through with some bad news to try to get you to open up to them because they know you're you have empathy, you're an empath, you're divine. Okay, they see you as a twin flame. So again, this is a twin flame love read. Okay. Yeah. This person really got people shocked over here. 
Like, oh my God, I thought that was such a nice girl or a nice man. Mm -mm. I'm not saying they're not a nice person, but they're going through a lot. And they kind of put you in the mix of it and wasn't telling you anything, sending you a lot of mixed signals. They're in love with you. They just sent a lot of mixed signals. Okay. So some of y'all are starting your own business. You could be 34 or you have your own business. I see travel. I see a journey as well. I see a spiritual journey. You could be traveling on the train, the bus, Amtrak, somewhere. There's unexpected income coming through. So somebody may give you some money. Or this is coming through from... Um, like a grant alone, there's an increase in your finances, okay? I feel like somebody is, you see them as your false twin. You don't see this person as your official person. Who's this grandpa? Some of y'all, y'all grandpa died. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. You may live in an apartment or a townhome. Your health may be being affected, so you could be losing sleep, night of sleep. You could be 21, 31, 19, or you have a child that's like 19 or 5 or 18. You may have a cough or a headache. You may spend time inside of a room that you find is your safe haven with doors. You may work from home. I see feng shui here too. Okay, so a lot of you are feng shui -ing. You could be 31. You could have a 7-year-old child. Somebody is about to send you a message. Tell me about this grandpa, this grandfather. Who is this grandfather? What is their position? Okay. This grandpa has position of of authority. Position of power. This grandpa... <laughs> I feel like they're your guardian angel. They're watching you. Two, two, two. Look at this. Two, two, and two. Can you believe that? But your official person is coming in for you. If that's what you're looking for. But I feel like you could be 22. The authorities may have gotten involved here for some of y'all. Like I said, somebody may have gotten in trouble with the law. This person is in love with you. Okay? The lovers. They see you as soulmate. Soulmates. You may have a child with this person or outside of this person. You may have a 15-year-old, a 18-year-old, a 10-year-old. Okay. Somebody may not have enough money to pay their rent and so they have to move. Let's get some working career cards out here for you guys and see what's going on with your money. So you could be selling something online or at a store. Yeah, there's an increase in your finances. You're on the right path. You may travel with a GPS or a compass. I see you working with the credit repair team to get your credit score back on track. Somebody could be resigning or retiring from a company. Okay. If you apply for a loan, it's about to be approved or this loan was already approved. Okay. I'm seeing a payday. Yes, you get money from this loan. You're going food shopping. Buying some bread, some grits. You're buying food. I feel like you're budgeting your money. So you're not trying to spend that much money on groceries. But I feel like you are going shopping. You work from home. A lot of you, some of you are wanting to work from home because you're unemployed. So a lot of you don't have a job. Because you may have lost your job in the past with the termination of employment. You may have been begging for your job back, but I feel like that did not happen. So you're searching for another job for some of you. Like I said, some of you are starting your own business. Some of you are working from home, selling something online. Some of y'all lost your job and y'all finding another job. Y'all doing some job search. Searching. There's a job offer coming through if you want it. A lot of you have a lot of ideas for your own business. There's a performance evaluation about to happen on you. 
I see you going shop. I mean, not shopping on vacation. You may be shopping for a vacation. Okay. That's what you could be doing. Somebody's in competition with you. One more. You're multitasking. You're doing a lot at once. You're on the computer watching your baby on the phone. You're doing a lot. Okay. You're getting an invite just to impress. So you're going to an event or somewhere and you're dressing nice. Okay. You're dressing really good. I feel like you guys want to make a good impression wherever you're about to go. Or well, this may have happened already. Some of y'all are wearing a nice suit. Some of y'all are wearing a nice dress. But I like it. Okay, you guys. So I hope that read brought you some clarity. I hope you guys enjoyed the read as much as I enjoyed reading for you, you guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys like this video for me right now. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notices on. ALL so you won't miss any readings. I have a lot of readings coming up for y'all. I for you guys and I'm so sorry it took me so long to do another read but I hope you've enjoyed this read and um turn your post notifications on leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know if this reading resonates with you let me know what your story is let me know if this is your story I love you guys so 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 much until next time bye I for you guys I'll see y'all in the next reading